What's up, Fish Tank TV? Just a quick update. Did water change this day. Tank looks, tanks look great. I got some plants in yesterday. I told myself I was done buying plants and I was stocked, but... Of course you're never done. So this right here, if you don't recognize it, is Rotala Magenta. And it just came in yesterday. Super red. I love it. And then uh, I have some... I forget how to pronounce the last bit of it, but it's the more average Rotala back here. And uh, I got in some needle leaf Ludwigia, which is right here. And uh, I think it looks good. I planted it just in two big bunches. I want them just to grow out like that. I want this whole side to be just basically covered in stem plants. Um, except for my Crips, obviously. This is uh, Crips Boralis. Crips Boralis. And I think this is um, Red Wendetti Crips. They are real big. Those are an awesome find. I found them at PetSmart. <clears throat> One of my buddies works there. He hooked it up. I got it for free. Same with all this Anacris in here. Uh, I put the Anacris in. I know it's like a normal cheap beginner's plant, whatever. But I put it in there just because it's like really green and it grows really tall really fast. And instead of putting a real background on this tank, I want to get the Rotala growing up on both sides back there. And I have some wisteria back here. And I want that to grow up and cover the back here. And then this Anacris, I want this Anacris to cover this side here. Um, as you can see, that side of the tank gets natural daylight when I open up the blinds. I have them closed right now because if they're open, you won't be able to see the tank. But when it's a nice sunny day like this, I do open it up and I let the natural sunlight come in. Uh, got a breeder net in here. I had a molly fry. Lost them all though, unfortunately. But I found this. I believe it's a Malaysian trumpet snail. Not a hundred percent sure. I just found him in the substrate today when I was doing a water change. He's decent size, looks pretty cool. I threw him in the breeder so that when I made this video I could find him and show him to you guys because he burrows, which is partially why I'm thinking he's a Malaysian trumpet snail, that and he's got the shell shape for it. Uh, update on everything here, let's see. The Sag is growing pretty good, got all new growth on that. And then this corkscrew valve, I don't know if you can see it like right in there, that's all new growth. Uh, it's grown, I've only had it in here for a week and it's already grown. Three new leaves on each plant that are about uh, three and a half inches long. That Rotala in the back is growing like mad. I've uh, been taking the clippings off and planting it next to it, trying to make a nice wall out of it. But in a week, I'd say it's already grown two or three inches. And this Rotala Magenta, I think, just looks awesome. And I'm thinking it's going to make a nice looking wall. And with these crits, what I want to do is I know they get really tall. I'm probably going to put a piece another, another piece of real thin driftwood and run it from the front to the back or something and have that Crips Spiralis like wrap over it and I put another bit of that Rotala Magenta in there in between the driftwood and I've been fighting with myself about what to do with this driftwood here I think I'm gonna get some uh, either Christmas moss or flame moss and put on there and let it just cover it some more green. I don't know. Figured what the heck. I pretty much got about all the Anubias one tank can handle. 
Um, I got Anubius Barteri, Anubius Congensis, Anubius Minima, a nice Anubius Nana, some more Barteri, and some uh, Congensis back there. Um, I want one of these Barteri to flower because I know they'll flower underwater and those flowers look sick. <laughs> Sorry, and I want these crypts to grow out. I want this one daddy to get nice and tall and bushy. I think it'll look pretty sick. And once this uh, needle leaf starts to get taller, I'll probably spread it a little more throughout the tank. I am dosing double with this uh, Sea Chem Iron. The main reason I'm even using it is because of that uh, magenta. And this red Nasea. I just want it to stay red. I think it looks nice and I want to keep it red. I know I don't really need the iron because, well, it's a dirty tank. But I figure it can't hurt anything. Um, I don't know if anyone, if I've ever talked about the filter, but I have a hang on back. It's a, a penguin. Emperor 400 with the bio wheels. And it's got back here, it's got uh, four pads, half floss, half carbon. Puts out some nice water flow. Uh, I filled the tank up pretty full, so you can't really see it all that well, but uh, you can see the rippling from it. Puts out a nice current, circulates the water pretty good. Um, and we'll go to the five gallon. So here we have the five gallon. Limnophila doing great. I just did a big water change on this too. Did about a 95% water change. I brought it down to about here. Uh, crips growing like crazy. I only planted three crips in here and I've got one, two, three, four, five of them. The dwarf sag growing like crazy. And... The Pogostamen Heferi. If you see that bottom leaf right there, that's how tall it was last week. So you can see it's grown pretty tall. Got some red Ludwigia in here just because it floated up in the other tank and I was too lazy to replant it, so I threw it in here. Got some red Nasea in there, which is also doing really well. And uh, dwarf hair grass. I don't know, I'm just keeping it over here on the side, keeping it in one little clump. If it spreads runners and it gets real short and it spreads through the whole tank, awesome. If it just stays over here, that's fine too. Um, I am... Well, they bred, but I didn't get the eggs out of there in time, so they ate them. But I'm going to try to get these to breed again. These are... Uh, Signifer rainbow fish or Pacific blue-eyed fork-tailed rainbows. That's the big male right there that I'm following with the camera, and those are the two females. He's got awesome color, as you can see on the camera. And I know they suck, but there's a Chinese algae in here, eater in here too. He's only going to be in here for a little while. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Probably throw them in the 90 gallon with the cichlids where I got the rest of them. Um, speaking of the cichlids, I'm thinking about throwing a couple Oscars in there. I've always kind of liked Oscars, and it's not really a very uh, heavily stocked tank, so I'm thinking about throwing some Oscars in there. Um, I don't know when I'll get to it, but whenever I get around to it, I'll do an update on that tank, too. Uh, I did a water change on it today, too, but I'm not really, I don't know, I'm not really proud of that tank yet. There's a couple videos on my channel about it. If you really want to see what it looks like, you can go ahead and look through those. But for now, that's an update on the tanks.